So earlier today, I went and picked up two little bitty fish that I've been thinking about getting and wanting to get for a very long time now. That is two little baby electric blue Jack Dempsey's. Now before I throw you back in time to earlier in the day when we actually got these guys, basically what I'm going to start doing every other video, if you don't know by now, putting a fish fisher up on the screen. Like I said, every other video, first person to comment down below the correct name of that fish gets a shout out in the next video. This is the fish picture for this video. Be the first person to comment down below the correct name of that fish and you will get a shout out in the next video. But now I'm going to send you back in time to earlier in the day when we picked up these two little electric blue jack dempsies. That is the biggest lionfish I've ever seen. Look at the freaking width on that thing, bro. That thing is giant. We're going to get two electric blue jack dempsies. Look at those guys. So you're back now, and basically they have been acclimating for about 20 minutes now. They are ready to go into the tank. Now they're not very colored up right now. That's because obviously they're pretty stressed out. Now one thing I do want to note, just for the time being, they are going to be going in this 10 gallon tank with guppies, quarry cats, just to grow out. Once they get about an inch or two more on them, they will then go into my 56 gallon tank. Which is this tank right here, and I would go ahead and put them in here. Only reason why is I think they would get kind of picked on, like they're literally like half the size of that little blue car right there, and he's the smallest fish in here. But yeah, once they get about the size of that blue car right there, they'll be going in here with all the other cichlids and, well, the silver dollar, which is going to be moving out pretty soon. Now, I know you're probably saying to yourself, well, that's kind of weird. You're keeping Jack Dempsey's, even though they're babies, with Guppy. That's because Electra Blue Jack Dempsey's are very peaceful. They are... Nothing like their uh, their close relatives of the regular Jack Dempsey's, which if you don't know, I have a pretty big one. This is a picture of a regular Jack Dempsey, and this is a picture of an electric blue Jack Dempsey. One's got a lot more blue, and is a lot more peaceful than the other one is. Without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and get these guys into their new tank. We have our fish right there in the bag, very eager to get out of the bag. Got them right on in the net, put them right on in to their new tank. Look at those guys. Oh, there goes one back there. And then there's the other little guy right there just chilling. Now after a few hours of being in here, they will start to color back up. But for now, they're just going to get used to the tank. And then they will start to color back up. Which, by the way, look at that female right there. That is one pregnant female. So is that one right there. Now do I expect the babies to get eaten? Probably so, whether it's the Jack Dempsey's, whether it's just the other guppies. But I got this little breeder net right here. And if I do start seeing babies in there, I will put the babies in this right here. Look at the new beta right there. This guy ate eight bloodworms today. Eight fat bloodworms today. Now I also got a dozen rosy reds, which I'm going to feed to Mr. Bass in the morning. But yeah, we're going to let these guys settle into the new tank. And then we're going to check on them in the morning. So it is now the next morning, and uh, the Jack Dempsey's look to be doing very well. Look at them right there, already out in the front of the tank swimming around. And you know what? I'm going to try to feed these guys some bloodworms really quickly. So I got some bloodworms right here. Going to drop them right on in. Let's see what they do. Oh, they're getting them. Oh, look at them. Holy cow. As soon as I dropped them in, they got them. Got some more right there. Oh, oh. Guppy's got them. Look at them. Look at that. That guy comes a little baby Cynodonis as well that I actually did not even show when I got him. Which, yes, we'll be going to a bigger tank pretty soon. Anyways, all of the fish showing down now. <laughs> So I've also got these a dozen rosy reds we're about to feed to Mr. Bass right now. It's actually raining, which actually really sucks, but uh, I'm sure Mr. Bass will still eat. By the way, can you see all them ripples coming up? I actually installed our new pump in here. I forget what gallon per hour it is, but it's a lot stronger than the other one that was in here. All right, got them in the net right here. And go ahead and let them drop right on in, and uh, yeah, we'll just wait for Mr. Bass to come out and get them. Oh, oh, look at him right there. It's really hard to see him, but he's right over there because of the rain. Oh, look at that. Got him. Only thing bad about the rosy reds is they don't school up like the mosquito fish do that I catch out of my pond. Oh, he just got another one right there. So, yeah, it's a lot harder for him to find them. And also, when I catch the mosquito fish, put them in here, I'll, I'll get about 30 or 40 of them. And that's only a dozen, so that's why it takes him a while to actually find them. But I'm going to leave him alone and let him go around and find the rest of them. Like I said, they're just going to grow out here and then eventually go into my 56 gallon tank. That is pretty much it though. Be sure to follow my Instagram, fishing underscore PF. Be the first one to comment down below the correct name of that fish that I put at the beginning of the video. You will get a shout out in the next video. I'll certainly give you guys an update on the Jack Dempsey in the next video. And that being said, guys, I'll catch you all in the next video.